Okay. So again, they're spoiling it and telling us to use the sinking um, fund formula because we want to know how much we need to invest now to accumulate two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So the present amount that we need to invest is that two hundred and fifty thousand. And then the rate is 6%, so 0 0.06. And the compounding monthly, so n is 12, divided by 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12. Again, n is 12. And we need to do this in 35 years. subtract one. So just cranking this guy out. Uh, again, we're going to do the 0 0.06 divided by 12 first. So I have 250,000. And 0 0.06 divided by 12 gives me 0 0.005. So if 0 0.006 divided by 12 was 0 0.005, I'm going to add one get 1.005, 12 times 35 is 420, minus 1. So now we're going to take care of the top, 250,000 times 0.005 gives you 1250, then 1 1.005 raised to the 420, is 8.12355.1494, but I want to subtract a 1, so instead of 8, I'm going to make this 7. Then just do that division, 1250 divided by 7.12355.1494, and I'll get 175.47. And just check that, make sure I didn't lose a 0 this time. That is looking good. They let's see they round to four eight. Um, they made that an eight. I think it it should be close enough. I think I probably kept more decimals than they did. I kind of like my answer, so it's close enough. We're gonna leave it there. Okay, okay. So for number 17, the, to save for retirement, Jana Bryant invests $50 each month, month in an ordinary annuity with 3% interest compounded monthly. Determine the accumulated amount in her annuity after 35 years. So you want to know the final amount if she invests $50. So you want to know the final amount if she initially starts with $50. So you're using just your ordinary annuity formula. The final amount will equal the $50 she starts with times 1 plus the rate is 3%, so 0 0.03, compounded monthly, so 12. Again, n is 12. And they want to know after 35 years, subtract the 1 divided by 0 0.03 divided by 12. So just plugging and chugging. We're always going to start with that 0 0.03 divided by 12. So 0 0.03 divided by 12. So I'll still have this 50. And this gave me 0 0.0025. Add the 1. I get 1.0025. 12 times 35 is 420 minus 1 divided by, and remember this was that which I already know is 0 0.0025. So cranking this out, I've got 50 times, I'm going to do 1.0025 raised to the 420, and I get 2.83, sorry, 8. Five three nine zero nine one four three, but remember I want to subtract a one. So instead of saying two point, I'm going to say one. 
and divided by 0 0.0025. This I'm just going to plug in on the calculator. I'm just going to do 50 times 1.859091.43 divided by 0 0.0025. The calculator shouldn't have any trouble with that order of operations, and you should get 37181.83. Three if I round. So let's check that. All right, they're differing. They, they're close to me. They got three seven zero seven eight point one eight. Um. Not sure if that's because they rounded differently than I did, because it's awfully close. I'm going to say it's close enough for now. And if I think of something I missed, I'll let you know. I'm going to say it's close enough for now. Thank you.